Welcome to the Flash Performance Garage where I am in big trouble with my wife. The reason I'm in big trouble with my wife is because our electric bill has been a little bit higher than it normally has and she just cannot figure out why. Well, I, I think I know. Uh, if you recall in a previous video that I did, I actually ran air underground to my new shop and kept the air compressor in the tiny garage. That way I wouldn't have all the noise in the new shop. When I did that, I maybe got a little lazy and I wouldn't always turn the air compressor off at night or if I didn't come out in the shop for a couple days because it's all the way over in the other building. I mean, that's like at least 25 yards away. So I am, that's a long walk. My intention, if you want to check out the other video with the underground air was to have the air compressor be able to be switched on and off from the shop side without having to go over to the tiny garage to turn it on and off. And I did that by installing a switch here where the air line comes in. Now, when I ran the air line over to the other shop, I also ran an electrical power wire over to that shop also. The idea is to turn the switch on and that will let the compressor turn on. Um, the compressor is a 220 compressor and this is a 110 switch. So we have a little bit of an issue. Well, we did have an issue. I went to my local electric supply store and I picked up a relay. This relay is a 220 relay that is powered by a 110 switch. So the idea is to have the switch turn on the relay and that relay turning on will then apply power to the compressor so I can turn it on and off without having to go over to their shop and I can use it on this switch. Now you'll notice that on this switch I also put a switch that has a light on it and when I wire the switch in when it is on it will turn that light red so I always know when the compressor is on. So I have the relay. I also have a box to put the relay in and run the electrical wiring out of. So let's go over to the tiny garage and I'll show you how I'm going to hook this up. In the previous video, I did a underground hose with electrical cable and this is where it comes into the tiny garage. This is the hose that goes up and over and over to the dryer. Now, I left plenty of extra line on the electrical cable that comes in so I can run it over to my compressor over there and put the box on the wall. So let's spin you around and show you that. I've ran that power cable that comes from the other building over along the bottom of the wall, meeting all OSHA requirements and electrical standards. I have ran that back behind the air compressor and then this is where it comes out. So we're gonna take this end and we're gonna mount a box here on the wall and the power cable that goes in, supplying the 220 voltage to the compressor is gonna go into that box, get switched via the relay and then go into the compressor to be able to turn it on and off. Something like a simple process. I'll be using an electrical junction box that is metal that I can mount on the wall. Since I have concrete block walls, I'm gonna be using tap cons and of course my relay. Now this I got from Kirby, Kirby Electric. Uh, this is a 40 amp, 120 volt controlled relay. Okay, so I've mounted the box, unmounted the box, mounted the box again, just trying to figure out how everything's gonna fit. And I've decided to go ahead and mount the relay in first. So I mount the relay in a direction that I can get to all of the screws that I need to, to be able to power up the air compressor. So now that I have that bolted down, I can bolt that to the wall and then I can start running the wiring into the box. So now that I have everything wired up to the other garage, whenever I turn on that switch, it'll turn on the air compressor. So I'll have my assistant turn on the switch. Now they can turn it off. So 
So now everything can be controlled from the switch in the other shop and I don't have to worry about the air compressor running all night. So what I've done is I've run the black wire from the other building into that socket and then it goes up to the relay box. Now on the top of the relay, right here and here is the power coming from the 220 voltage from the tiny garage. It goes through the relay and then these two wires, 220, go to the air compressor. If you look here on the side of the relay, the black wire, that's the power feed coming from the other building, and then the white wire is on this side, so that is the common. So when I energize this side, it engages the relay contactors and then pushes the 220 to the air compressor. Now you're probably wondering why I put a plug down here. Well, I wanted to verify first off that I have my power correct, but also, if you remember from one of my other videos, my air compressor has an automatic power drain attached to it. And that goes off every 45 minutes when it's plugged in. Well, the bad part is, if I don't come out here and unplug it, it runs every 45 minutes all night long. So if we take that, and we plug that in, whenever the shop turns on the compressor, it also turns on the drain. Whenever the shop turns off the compressor, it also turns off the drain. So now I have two in one with this setup. Don't make fun of my wiring ability. I blame Mr. Meshberger from high school for my electrical skills. I hope you found that helpful. I'm Chad from Flash Performance, reporting from the tiny garage. We'll catch you next time.